Hey, hey, what's going on, you guys? So, I don't know about you, but I know that in the past, I have dealt with um, a lot of inflammation. And in fact, I imagine that you probably deal with some inflammation yourself because, believe it or not, there is good inflammation and there's bad inflammation. Hey, I am Coach Bev or Beverly Schlag from BeverlySchlag.com and today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about um, natural anti-inflammatories because they're super important because while yes there is some good inflammation like um, for instance if you get a cut you will notice that like around the cut it will begin to like maybe swell or there will be heat um, you know also some fevers that's also a sign of some like inflammation reaction um, you know things like that those are good inflammatory reactions that's good inflammation it's it's what is allowing your body to rush it's like the sign that your blood is rushing to that area to be able to heal properly right well however there is a point where there is like not good inflammation where it becomes chronic and unfortunately in America we kind of live in a society that um, increases that inflammation um, we are exposed to a lot of different things just in our foods alone that increase the inflammatory reactions in our body like for instance processed foods um, a lot of the processed foods the refined carbs like breads and pastas and things like that um, baked goods those increase our inflammatory responses and when that occurs if it's happening too often, if you're remaining in that inflamed state all the time where your body is constantly trying to repair itself, eventually it becomes a problem. Um, people will deal with, um, with diseases that have stemmed from inflammation and that totally stinks, right? Um, so it's best to battle that um, some ways and you can do that by just eliminating some of the inflammatory foods and um, other things like limiting your amount of alcohol um, if you're a smoker try to quit or limited that um, extracurricular drugs that's another thing that increases inflammation um, and then yeah the processed foods the fast foods uh, a lot of the simple carbs, the simple sugars, the processed sugars, not like the natural occurring sugars, all of those things will increase inflammation in your body. But the good news is, is that when you decrease those and then increase some of the natural anti-inflammatory foods, you will notice that your body gets to feeling a little bit better possibly. So. In my blog that I'm gonna post later on today, I'm gonna to share with you 20 different foods that you can increase in your food, like daily, um, not all 20 every single day, but what you can take pretty much every day and add them in there and hopefully decrease that inflammation that you're dealing with that may be causing um, a response I mean a lot of the autoimmune diseases are showing that they are being caused by an inflammatory response in our bodies and um, and unfortunately that really stinks because it's something that we can actually try to prevent and not have to take a medication uh, to to get rid of and to not have to deal with um, but of course that would be something that you would need to discuss with your doctor but so in this blog I will be sharing 20 of those foods and I thought I would give you I guess five of them <laughs> we're gonna go with five of them right now okay so leafy greens that's a big one um, let's see celery wild-caught salmon coconut oil and ginger 
I seriously just picked those out. <laughs> I didn't do it under any like, I just, those are the top ones. No, I just picked out five of the 20. And so I will be listing the rest of the 15 out of the 20 that I didn't mention here. And also why these foods are beneficial, why they actually have an anti-inflammatory response within our bodies and help us to fight that inflammation. All right, well, I appreciate you all hopping on today. Hi, Ashley. Um, and I love seeing you guys hop on. And make sure that you check back later on today for when I post the blog that has the full list of 20 foods that can help you fight inflammation. And um, if you haven't caught the rest of this series on natural remedies, feel free to hop on over to beverlyschlag.com where I did um, immune system boosters and detox boosters and then and so you can see like what those are that you can use for natural um, help and other than that I guess that's about it for you for today you guys so I will see y'all later have a wonderful beautiful day bye